Welcome, Q- welcome to the CAFCast. It's our third podcast. Glad to have everybody back. This time, we're not going to be interviewing anybody. We're going to be introducing you to some of our employees and some of the people that work with us. Which We're going to get you guys acquainted with our team. So, Alex Bildo, we're, who are the new people on our team? Well, Do you know them? <laughs> yeah, of course. We can start with uh, Alex Bada. Alex Bada. Well, Alex Bada, I want you to tell your your story a little bit and why you wanted to join up with our team hey what's up guys it's alex here alex bada the other alex um you know man i believe that people have dreams people have goals and they want to achieve it someday you know but it's hard getting started at first and being that person be able to help them being that idol to them they'll help them push their their dreams achieve those things i find that really important to me when people have dreams they want to achieve their goals so this my goal out of all this is to help people, you know, but, um, yeah. This whole thing is about supporting other people and developing his own foundation and trying to get himself up there. You know, everybody has ambition. And the reason why I hire people like this is because I only want my team to be motivated as much as I am. We got people that are coming from all kinds of different struggles and coming up that can relate with a lot of different people. And it's valuable to have their input. It's always better to have more minds than one. I triple down on my strengths, and their strengths are very useful to my team because I'm not good at everything. Alex Bilodeau is a great organizer. He keeps everything in the foundation extremely in, in order. Like, it's unbelievable. What I would do without him is crazy. Alex Bada is he's a phenomenal salesman just like myself, and he's going, he's approaching, he's continuously trying to get sales, and he has ideas on how to get his market out there and how to reach out to people, how to get to events, how to do certain things. And we work to the, uh, together. Now our next employee, her name's Natasha Merrick. Let her tell you her story. Hi, it's Natasha. Um, I really got into this business because I wanted to make my dreams a reality. I, somebody who is very creative and, you know, my big dream in life is to really see my my creation and my work out there and to really just be a part of um the future and i see you know i believe in inspiring i just want to inspire people i want people to feel you know that they're not alone those are some great words and the reason why i'm letting you guys get into heads of my employees is because I want to show you the stories of their life and show you where they came from because we all have aspirations that nobody should look down upon. You never know what the next person is going to achieve. You don't know how much they can accomplish and helping them get on the right track, helping them show a path that they believe in, something that they can put their all into. It's all about that hustle. And I'm just showing them that, you know, if you hustle hard enough, you can achieve the dreams you want. And this is what I want to reach out to a lot of people is self-awareness. It's something Gary Vee is huge on, is be who you are. Don't lie about it. Don't bullshit. If you're not noble, don't be noble. If you're not these things, just be who you are. You know, if you're happy and you're making $50,000 a year and your, your family life game is on point, then roll with it. What I'm happy to do is, like, my company is supporting the Heat Stroke Foundation. And I'm extremely happy to support that completely free and advertise it and continue to talk about it because that's my little brother. And I want his name to get out there because I believe he was going to be a star in my eyes. And we all come through pains and we all come through struggles. And I know it's hard. And I know how much people hurt. And I know that you guys want somebody to reach out to. So this podcast is to help inspire you guys. We can't complain because we're not the person in last place. We're very blessed if you're in Canada or the United States. You're extremely blessed. You won the lottery. You know the chances of being a human being is 400 and trillion to one. Those odds are ridiculous. Like when I heard about that, that that blew my mind. So you have to take life and live your dreams to the fullest. And I'm very huge on that. I'm very huge on pushing people towards that. You can't laugh at the person who thinks a different way because you don't know how it can affect the world. You don't know how that impact can change. If the marketing world, it constantly changes. 
There's so many ways of making money doing the things you love. You just can't let the things you love seduce you. Build a business around it. Develop it. Build your staff team up. And that's why I'm so happy to have the team I'm here with today. The person that I'm bringing onto my team, he's going to go by a restless play. And, you know, he has a good music game and his freaking comedy. Like, every time I listen to this guy's stream, oh, guy blows me away. Guy fucking blows me away. So I'm going to be introducing him here so he can tell you a little bit about himself and why you guys should go definitely check him out, follow him. We're going to have his links in the description, you know, a little sellout for him. I got to give my boy some respect. Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, best play, actually. Good song. Not bad. See? God, people don't know it. But uh, pretty much I uh, wanted to get on board with this because uh, everybody has a voice. And I feel in this day and age, nobody shows their true colors or shows uh, that they've been through struggles too. And I've been through quite a bit in my life. And what I want to do is impact people and have my audience, which is like you guys, and be able to connect with you and help you through some of the things that you're going through because it's relatable. I've been through a lot of bull crap. I've done a lot of stupid things. And I feel that if I had somebody that was there that I could have talked to all the time, it would have made things a lot easier. Now, I'm not saying I'd be able to like, you know, be Moses and split the, the sea apart and take everybody one by one and get y'all on board with me and get you on the same page and bring you happiness. Cause I can't do that. But what I can do is just be an ear. You know what I mean? Like, it's all I kind of want to do. I just want to show you guys that if you feel alone, like I do, if you feel like you have no voice that you can get a voice and I want to help people get their voice. That's pretty much it. Hmm. Those are some very huge words by him. Guys, definitely got to go check them out. You see why I'm giving them the mad props? You see my boy's speech game is on point. Like, god damn. Woo! Fire. Alrighty. Well, I love to bring you guys up to speed with our team. And we're going to be talking about a couple of the things that we're looking into doing. We're going to be doing a little documentary on my buddy Dylan. He um, recently passed away. And we're going to be doing a full thing talking about some of the good memories that he brought to us and how he always believed in us and, you know, he was a very good friend to many people and helped inspire some of us. So we're going to be doing something coming up. There's going to be a full video. I'm going to be video editor for this too. We got a guy who's going to be documenting it all and it's Alex Bada. You know, he gets you all the sneak peeks. You guys got to check his shit out if you want to get all the early access. He's got all of it, my boys. And check out his story. It's fucking fire. Like the voice crack was intended. That's how far it is. <laughs> but we love to have you guys here, and the energy is going to stay the same. We're going to keep pumping out the content. We're going to keep giving back to the community. We're going to keep trying to build this up because we have a dream that we want to accomplish, and we're going to do nothing but hustle to get it. And that's why we keep working on these deals. This is why we keep working on all these things. There's going to be a documentary coming out about my brother in about three months. It's going to be on Fox. Zachary Polsenberg. Look up his name. Like, I want, like, I miss my brother. And I don't want anybody to go through the same struggle of losing a brother or a child to this. Nobody deserves to die to heat stroke. It is preventable. And I said that last podcast, and I'm being huge on this because it's very impacted my life. Nobody deserves that. But Alex is going to be telling you a little bit more about his story and exactly what he was doing before he got into CAF and some of the things that, you know, why and how he got started with us and a bit of our journey. Because we had a couple of videos that we did that we didn't upload, but we were supposed to edit. But, you know, I like him to talk a little bit more. He's been the silent type, but he has a lot on his mind. <laughs> All right. Well, I already said it in the first podcast from... How did I meet you and everything? How did I start at that? Um, like I said, I'm the kind of guy that can do pretty much anything by myself. Uh, I don't need, I <laughs> just, I'll learn on the spot. Uh, I don't need someone to teach me for a complete year or something that I can learn in one day. So. How fast did you land your first deal, my man? Tell me, uh, how fast did you land it? 
in one month. And the guy was already interested in doing everything from the first week. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, he was already I, in it. This is the reason why I'm trying to say is like, Facebook is the next platform for marketing because of how underpriced it is. Instagram influencers are going to be also the next big thing. The reason why there's going to be so huge is because of how underpriced it is. It's like Google advertisements back in the day, SEO, all these companies offering the search engine optimizer. Like the reason why it's not as successful as Facebook right now is because it's a time saver. People are using Facebook because it's just an easier app because you instantly click in, you go onto it, and more people are starting to use the search on it. Search engine on Google is actually starting to go down a bit. It's, in, it's like unbelievable. The reason why Google is still dominating is because of how many companies they bought out at the top because they were at the top for so long. And that's something smart that they're keeping themselves in the game. But these platforms like Instagram, like Facebook, like Twitter are starting to dominate the market. So we're going to be seeing the biggest changes in the next couple of years and seeing where it's going to be going. And I can tell you this, CAF is definitely going to be one of the first movers from getting on this game. Me and Alex are working very hard at this day in and day out, trying to get as much information. And it's about self, it's self-educating yourself, man. That, it's simple yeah. as that. It's if I have to get to a lot of people. That's why Alex is so good at this job. It's because I said, hey, look at what I'm doing. Take what I'm doing. Find other ways of doing it and advance yourself. Because there's nobody to actually teach you that right now because it's a new thing. So you, yeah. you need to learn it from yourself. What we're doing is we're re reverse engineering the fan base. That's yeah. how we're doing it. And like you, you guys are going to come back to this podcast way down the line. And you're going to be looking at this because of what we said is true. What's true when this era is coming. People have to get on it now. People have to move now. It's $6 to reach a thousand people. How ridiculous is that? You target the right market with a, like the right company. Say you're a shoe company and you're doing esports. You target the gamer community, easy groups like League of Legends groups. You do shoes for them. You send them free shoes. You get that market out there. Boom, they're esports shoes. Esports guys are posting about it on Instagram. There you go. You just marketed it something. That simple. And this is what's going to take over the next market. It's going to dominate till the next big thing. And we're going to be on top of that. And this is what our company is going to be about, is pushing words that need to be pushed out. This is going to be the whole positivity wave that I want to bring to the world. Because nobody, like, what is the suffering bullshit? Like, I don't believe in giving to a person where it cripples them that they don't need to do anything. But I believe in helping people that are willing to work hard and better themselves. And school system's not made for everybody. Not everybody succeeds with that. Some people have different aspirations and dreams that they want to accomplish. And the only way they can do it is through this type of grind. And yeah, they might have to work a nine to five job for maybe 10 to 15 years to get into what they want to do. But if you hustle and you do the thing you want, you're not going to be miserable at a job that you hate for the rest of your life. And this is the thing I want to bring up the most is self-awareness. And something Gary Vee talks about heavily. And the reason why I reference him is because he's the one who gave me that idea. Self-awareness is one of the biggest keys to your strengths and growing. It lets you advance on all the things you're good at. And you don't worry about your faults. You admit to them, but you don't worry about them. You know what's bad about you, but you push through and you know what you're good at and you triple down at that. And I'm a strong believer at that. And that's why I hustle because I used to be a lazy person. I used to not want to do anything. And now I'm here pushing a company, was in eSports, traveled, helped market it. And I loved, I loved every bit of the journey. And this is why I want to keep pushing this. I want to keep helping to the community. I want to keep giving back. I want to pay it forward because they're the people that helped me. And I have so much appreciation for the people that are with me today. And I'm so grateful for them. So that's why I'm giving them all a freaking shout out. Go check out all their Instagrams. We're going to have all the links I know I'm spam whoring on those links, but you know, your audience is my oxygen and I love you guys so much. So from the Cavcast, we're going to be coming back to you guys with another podcast very soon. This one was a little on the shorter side, but I want to get the feelings out to you guys. Yeah, I want to connect with you guys. It was more of an insight, of an yeah. insight of what, what we do.
we're going to have a lot more of this content that we're going to be producing. So stay tuned. We got a SoundCloud link. Uh, sound, uh, can't pronounce words now. <laughs> SoundCloud link. Okay, I give up on this. And a YouTube link. <laughs> we're going to try to get on Apple and get on other products and platforms for this as well. So you can check out our podcast on those very soon. Once we do get it, we're going to be re-uploading all these. So there's going to be a link coming back later down the road if there's not one now. So it was a pleasure from CAFCAST. We can't wait to see you guys again. Everybody have a great day. Peace out.